Today, I'm going to bring you my top 10 kingdom policies that I enact when I first make my kingdom. They will not be in any particular order, as when you make a kingdom, you may need something different depending upon your situation. Sacred Majesty. The ruler clan gains three influence per day, and non-ruler clans lose five influence per day. So when you make your kingdom, you're going to get three influence right from the start. And if you have the leadership perk, which decreases enacting kingdom decisions by 50%, it only costs 50 influence to enact a kingdom decision. So in a span of just over 16 days, this is going to pay for itself and then give you three influence for the rest of the game. Cantons. Daily militia production is increased by one. Recruits replenish 20% faster. Tax income and settlements are reduced by 10%. Lower taxes, but militia increased by one. Militia, to me, are the savior of your beefs. I want as many as I can get. And also, recruits replenishing 20% faster you're going to be able to recruit a lot quicker for just a little less income. Royal Guard. Ruler's party size is increased by 60. Non-ruling clans lose 0.2 influence a day, which is virtually nothing. But you are going to get 60 to your party size. Noble Retinues. Tier 5. Plus clans lose one influence per day, and the party size of their leaders is increased by 40. You're going to lose that little bit of influence. You might want to do this a little bit later, but you're going to increase by 40 party size. So with this in Royal Guard, if your clan tier 5, it's going to instantly bump you up 100 to your party size. Tribunes of the People. Taxes paid to the ruler are reduced by 5%, which is no big deal, but town loyalty is increased by one per day. And loyalty is so important because that is the one main thing that determines how fast projects are built. You want to max that loyalty as quick as possible. Magistrates. Town security is increased by one per day and town taxes are reduced by 5%. Once again, a little bit less taxes, but you're going to increase that security. And security and loyalty run alongside each other. So having a higher security is going to make it so you're going to have a little bit higher loyalty. Royal privilege. For kingdom decisions, the influence cost of the ruler overriding the popular decision outcome is reduced by 20%. What this means is that if you have around 10 clans in your kingdom, it will cost almost nothing to override them. This is one of the things that I make sure to have if I'm going to have a kingdom because I want to be able to override my vassals and this is going to make it a little bit easier to get that done. Forgiveness of debts. Settlement production is going to be reduced. That is pretty bad when that 5%, it's going to mean a lot. But settlement loyalty is increased by 2 per day. So this goes with Tribunes of the People, in which you're going to end up getting plus 3 total. If you take a beef of another culture, it is going to be able to negate that minus 3 penalty that you're going to suffer. So forgiveness of debt is one of the first ones I love to get as I want my loyalty maxed as quick as possible. Bailiffs. Town security is increased by one per day. Towns with security greater than 60 yield one additional influence to the owner clan and tax from the towns is reduced by 5%. The taxes, that's not going to mean a whole heck of a lot. It might mean 50 or 100 a day. But once again, we're going to increase our security, which could help our loyalty. And we get that above 60, we're also going to gain more influence. Citizenship. Plus five loyalty per day to settlements that have the same culture as the owner. 
If you don't have the same culture, it's minus 0.5. So it's not a huge difference. It's a little bit. But on the flip side, settlement militia production is increased by one. Once again, I live off of militia, and I'll get six to 800 of them in my feed. So I want as much militia as I can get. These are my top 10 that I normally like to pick right away. If you have any question or if you have a favorite, let me know in the comments. Until next time, take care and thanks for watching.